Fishing is about much more than simply catching fish. The joy of fishing comes from being in nature and by practicing some simple innate fishing skills that we all possess to tune into it. It's a social family hobby with huge benefits to people in terms of both physical and mental health. Perhaps the most skillful and delightful of all the forms of course fishing is fishing with a float. Float fishing is possibly the most fundamental skill to acquire in the fishing journey. Learn to float fish and you will learn to fish full stop. For float fishing, we tend to use what are called match rods. They're not just for match fishing, they're general all-round float fishing rods. And a 12 or 13 foot match rod is absolutely perfect for fishing on a pond like this one that contains a mixed header species. The brand's up to you, but I'm using a Shakespeare kit today. This is a Shakespeare Agility 13 foot match rod, and I've got the reel to match. It's not an expensive reel, but it's got excellent line lay, it's got a good drag, and it's reliable, it's a real good workhorse and that is exactly what I'm looking for. Now if you're going to float fish you obviously need a float and the type that you want for a pond or small still water like this is called a waggler float. This is a waggler float and it's attached to the line, bottom end only, that's quite important, it makes it much easier to cast. But the type of float that you want is what's called an insert waggler and that is a waggler with a much finer tip than the main body of the float. And what that does is it gives you much improved bite sensitivity. So you'll see more bites and you'll connect with more fish if you use one of these floats. Well, this is a lovely little fish. It's, uh, it's a small crucian carp, and you're probably used to seeing the bigger carp species, like the mirror and the common, which are quite large fish. These are more diminutive. They're deep-bodied, brassy little fish, cheeky little blighters that really fight hard for their size. 